Before I forget, tell my good friend, Pastor Chu, I said, ta -ta. <laughs> He's a very wonderful man. I want to, I want to eavesdrop in on a homecoming. You know part of the story, but you don't know the other part. On the <clears throat> now I'm not real nosy, right. except in certain instances. Uh, yeah. Yeah. But I'm nosy about this. All right. All right. All right. Charlie Brown told Linus years ago. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. Yes, it is. I'm going in to college. Linus said to learn hmm. and Charlie Brown said no I'm just nosy <laughs> and I'm nosy today because my sanctified imagination <coughs> has always wondered about this homecoming. It has always perked up my curiosity. This homecoming. There's a man in the fifth chapter of the book of Mark. Verse number 15 and verse number 19. I see. If you don't mind, I want to. I want to. I want to kind of get in on <laughs> what happened. Now I know we got the part where, where the Lord said I want to follow him home. Mm. Y'all want to talk to me, man? Mm. I, want to, I want to follow him home. Because mm. we really haven't heard all of the story. Yeah. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Look what he said. In verse 15, and they come to Jesus and see him that was possessed with the devil and had the legion sitting and clothed and in his right mind and they were afraid. God Almighty should have been happy. Verse number 19, watch this. How be it? Jesus suffered him not, but saith unto him, Go home to thy friends and tell them how great things the Lord hath done for thee and hath had compassion on thee. Eavesdropping. On a homecoming. Whoa! Mm, mm, mm. Mm. It's a fact. This man was possessed with demons. Yes. Let's deal with it. Let's set the case up that he was possessed. <clears throat> Not only was he possessed, he was controlled. Yeah. 
his mind was captured and manipulated by the presence of demons. All right. All right. And he didn't have just one or two uh -huh. demons. One or two is bad enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at somebody and say, demons are bad. Yeah, yeah. Demons make you do some crazy stuff. It's, it's a fact. All right. It's in your mind, but you can tear it out. He was possessed. Yeah. Possessed means that he was filled up with demons. That it occupied every facet of his existence. So much so that it ran him crazy. All right. You right? Look at somebody and say, I don't want no demons. Control me. Control me. I'm, I'm wondering if when I look around in churches, do we have some demons? Y'all excuse me, I know you. I know that's some stuff y'all don't do that. I know, I understand that. But I wonder sometimes, Pastor Hoffman, about how folk act. How they stir up stuff. Cause confusion. Oh, Lord. Nothing ever right. I don't care about what you want to do. I can't see that. Well, demons will make you blind. This man, y'all with me? If you're with me, say preach, brother. This man was ultimately and totally controlled to the point where he lived where nobody was breathing. Now you in bad shape when you want to live when nobody else is breathing. Come on, talk to me. Look at me and say, that's right. He's in a graveyard. Is that in the book? He's in the graveyard. He doesn't visit. He's living there. All right. Yeah. All right. He, he doesn't go somewhere at night and come back. He, he doesn't go to work in the morning and come back at night. He stays there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All day and all night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And not only is he in the graveyard, but he's crazy because he's cutting. Yeah. Anything you want to hurt yourself, you'll control by demons. Well, well, I'm going to this one. There are some people living in the graveyard that work every day. All right, all right. Oh, boy, I said something. Yeah, yeah. This man lived in the graveyard. I don't know about you. I don't even hardly want to pass by that. <laughs> Y'all ain't talking to me. All right, all right, all right. I never will forget that I was a boy. We were walking up the little country road in Louisiana. And uh, we would have to go by the graveyard to get home. And then somebody had put a car out there. And, <laughs> and boy, we were coming through there. And we heard that bell. Ling a ling a ling. And everybody took off. <laughs> 
It ain't building no noise in the graveyard. We try to have some empathy. You ain't supposed to hear no bells ringing. <laughs> and so we. Help me somebody. But every day. Every day. Listen to that. Every day that people went by that graveyard and at night they could hear him howling. He's crazy. <coughs> Not because he is mentally demented, but he is mentally deformed because of demon possession. And every night people walk by and they hear him. You catch him. <laughs> and so much so they tried they tried to control it. Yeah. Mm. They tried to say they 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 changed him yeah. and put feathers on him. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The demons were so powerful, yeah. so destructive uh -huh. that even the chains yeah. couldn't hold him. I wish I had somebody pray. Tell somebody, you don't want demons. You, you don't want demons. The demons in the man saw Jesus. Now, keep in mind, this man didn't know Jesus. He had never he, me somebody. he had never been he, he wasn't he wasn't he wasn't in Bethsaida, he wasn't in Bethesda, he wasn't in Cana, he wasn't in Capernaum. He doesn't know Jesus, but he calls him Lord. Hmm. He calls him Master. Yes, Have you come to trouble us? To torment us before the time in Jesus. Didn't ask the man what his name was. No, he did. He did. He did. He said, "What's your name?" And they said, "My name is Demon, for we are many." The book said he had a legion of demons. Now, in Roman numerology. A legion is 6,000. So he has six, at least 6,000 demons. Y'all ain't listening to what I'm saying. He had 6,000 demons. Mm. No wonder. No wonder he's living in the graveyard. No, no wonder. He's cutting himself. No wonder nobody could control him. Nobody could hold him. Nobody could do anything with him. He's controlled by 6,000 demons. Oh, but he can't Jesus. Somebody ought to say amen right there. Somebody ought to say that he even know the demons were there. And even though the demons 